Many times in math competitions, problems will ask you to find the value of some expression that includes the roots of a polynomial. Sometimes Vieta's formulas are the way to go, but in some cases we can use something called Newton's sums. The proof is based off of Vieta's, but having a formula handy is usually better than having to derive one during a math test. Of course, it is still a good idea to understand how a formula is derived, so you know when to apply that formula. Before we get started, here's a quick explanation of Vieta's. It's basically just a way to write a polynomial's coefficients in terms of its roots. Vieta's formulas can be derived by writing a polynomial as the product of its factors and multiplying out without adding together the coefficients of like terms. If you still don't understand, here's an example of Vieta's formulas derived from a quadratic. It's also a good idea to pause the video and search up what Vieta's formulas is if you have never heard of it before. Now that we got that out of the way, we can start with some basic cases of Newton's sums. Given a quadratic with roots r and s, how would we find r squared plus s squared? In this case, you could probably just bash out what r and s are and compute r squared plus s squared, but we will need to solve this in a different way. Using Vieta's formulas, we can find out what r plus s and r times s are from the quadratic's coefficients. So we can rewrite this problem as, given r plus s and r times s, how would we find r squared plus s squared? Since we are trying to find r squared plus s squared, it seems like a good idea to square r plus s since it will give us the terms r squared and s squared. We end up getting r plus s squared equals r squared plus 2rs plus s squared. There seems to be a 2rs term in the way of us finding what r squared plus s squared is. However, we know what r times s is, so we simply just subtract 2 times that. Now we have the value of r squared plus s squared without ever finding the value of r or s. Sometimes it's a good idea to solve for the expression you're looking for, rather than looking for the components of the expression. Now that we've found r squared plus s squared, naturally we would try to find what r cubed plus s cubed is. It turns out we can find r cubed plus s cubed by first expanding r squared plus s squared times r plus s. This gives r cubed plus s cubed plus r s squared plus r squared s. We have the r cubed plus s cubed part. We just want to get rid of r s squared plus r squared s. Factoring r s squared plus r squared s gives r s times r plus s. We already know what r times s and r plus s are. This means we can write r cubed plus s cubed as r plus s times r squared plus s squared minus r s times r plus s. However, it turns out we can write r cubed plus s cubed in a more interesting way. Let r and s be the roots of a sub 2 x squared plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 and s sub k equals r to the k plus s to the k. Then we can write the expression we derived from before as s sub 3 equals negative a sub 1 over a sub 2 times s sub 2 minus a sub 0 over a sub 2 times s sub 1. The coefficients negative a sub 1 over a sub 2 and a sub 0 over a sub 2 were from Vieta's formulas, as they represent r plus s and r times s. If we do some algebraic manipulation to this equation, we get a sub 2 times s sub 3 plus a sub 1 times s sub 2 plus a sub 0 times s sub 1 equals 0. This formula looks suspiciously clean. If we investigate further, we find that for any polynomial a sub n x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 all the way down to a sub 1 x plus 8 sub 0, we get a lot of equations relating the sums of the kth powers of the roots to the coefficients of the polynomial. These equations are known as Newton's sums, which is what this whole video is about. Quick note. You can actually find out what s sub negative k is by first turning the polynomial you have, let's call it f of x, into a polynomial whose roots are the reciprocal of the original polynomial. You can do this by finding f of 1 over x, and then multiplying by x to the power of the degree of the original polynomial. You do this because f of 1 over x isn't actually a polynomial, so multiplying by a power of x will turn it into a polynomial that you can use Newton's sums on to find s sub negative k. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video about Newton's sums.